Our NBA insider Chris Broussard is in Cleveland to cover tonight's game, and he joins us now on the phone. Chris, LeBron's image in Cleveland has changed a bit since the decision. It was pure malice when he went there a couple years ago. What type of reception do you expect he's going to get from the fans tonight? Well, I think there'll be a mixed bag. Uh, obviously, there'll be a lot of positive. Uh, there is actually a group that has started a campaign called Come Home LeBron, and they will be outside of the arena giving away 2,000 T-shirts with uh, the picture of LeBron and that title on it. So uh, there are going to be a lot of people there who are in recruitment mode and trying to sell him on the idea of coming back. But I think you'll still have – your group of fans who boo him lustily and who really are still upset. And then I think you'll have another group uh, that's kind of in the middle and on the fence still. Uh, but I, I think overall it'll be very mixed. But I would say probably more positive than negative. Yeah, and those swing voters would quickly come over to LeBron's side if he decides to Resign with them as a free agent. Do you get the sense in that city that they believe LeBron may just come back to Cleveland? I think the sense was a little bit stronger maybe a few months ago, and, and I think there's still a lot of people that are hopeful uh, and, you know, some that think it might happen, but I, also people are trying to, you know, not get too. Uh, overboard in that type of thinking because they obviously their hearts were broken in 2010 and they really don't want to buy all into the notion that he's coming back because it may not happen. Now, I think the reason I said it was stronger a few months ago is because the way the team has played. You mm -hmm. know, coming into this season, bringing Mike Brown back, a good defensive coach, the feeling was that this team had talent and that they should be a playoff team in the Eastern Conference. But now the way they've played, there's been dysfunction. There has been, you know, arguments in the locker rooms, and they're only 4-10. and 10. Uh, People realize if the team is this bad and continues to play this poorly, that definitely hurts their chances of bringing LeBron back. Yeah, LeBron's not going back as a rebuilding project. They need to show they're a respectable team without him. We'll see how it plays. Again, 4-10 and 10 coming into tonight's game against a very good Miami Heat team. Chris Broussard giving us the latest from Cleveland.